Hello guys, in today's episode, Learning Revit, I want to talk about the reference plane. So most people do not use it and or they don't know how you can use the reference plane. But basically, reference plane can help you set out your design, you can create your project boundaries, and also is going to control the geometry that you are creating. Very important concept. It's going to facilitate the drawing. It's going to give you a better understanding what you're going to draw. Let's jump into Revit so we can see how we can create a reference plane, how we can turn it on and off, how we can name it, how we can associate it with a specific plane. And if you like the content, please make sure to subscribe and leave a like. In today's episode, we're going to take a look at reference plane. This is um, a very fundamental and important portion of the Revit that is going to help you understand Revit better and also is going to help you during your design. Um, the reference planes are really, really important when you work uh, and they kind of help you out a lot and make stuff easier for you. So let's just go through it, see what it is, how we can help them, how we can use uh, reference planes. So I'm going to just start with a simple model, uh, just new, nothing in the model. Uh, I'm going to open a template. Um, so what, what we're going to do, we just want to go through um, a, a new template. So when you open a Revit template, um, I know that you all saw this floor plan, plan, side, like they have everything over there. These are kind of basically on default. And also they have this reference plane, right? So this reference plane, as you guys can see, it's basically a uh, inside the actual template so you can kind of go from there uh, plus you have like elevations that can be adjusted they have some section over there for you but basically they give you a template to start with right so let's just kind of go over uh, what we have at this point um, this is going to be our scope box when you open it up these two are our reference plane so I want to show you when I click on it, uh, it gives me a couple of things, right? So you have a name, so you can basically put the name over there. If you have a sub category, you can place it in there. But I would recommend any reference plane that you create, put a name on so you know what it is. Because later on, when you let's say create a roof, create a wall, create a, uh, a, a an element in your model, and you want to reference this plane, if you have the name, you can select it uh, from the menu, and you're gonna tell Revit my wall or my roof uh, draw it based on this plane that I said like this one the number one number two number three or south north east whatever so first thing make sure you use it the second thing you can see that basically just the, if I get close over here you have the 2d 3d so that means that if you have a 2d on it means it gonna only show up in the 2d you don't see the reference plane in 3d uh, but if you draw it and you know switch that to 3D, for sure you'll be able to see it on your 3D views. So referen reference pr planes are visible in section, floor plan, elevation, and all type of views basically. So let's just start. Uh, first thing you can move them. Um, if you want to start with the template, I can select copy paste. If you know, if I don't want to do anything with it, it has a dimension. I'm just gonna put it over there. I'm gonna move it with the move tool to this side. Let's say there you go, and I'm gonna select it and copy and paste. I'm gonna put it over here. And the first thing you might have noticed, you have a reference plane is have two distinct uses in Revit. The main one is to control a geometry. So if let's say you want to have a house and the roofs are going outside of the wall boundaries, you can kind of let's say set that with the reference plane. 
um, if and if let's say if you have a, a, a wall and you say okay I want to have all of these walls going to be the boundaries of my construction you're going to place them on this so what it does basically the two main reason is first control geometry and the other one sets your design boundary like the next to your wall or whatnot and when you place them you can see like as I put over there um, it basically is going to give me the dimension I can set the dimension here and there, right? It's just going to move them up and down, or I can, you know, select, let's say, make it 135, whatever it is, and then adjust that. This is 28. Let's just make it 210. Let's say this is my actual design. So right now, if I go to architectural, let's just select a wall. Um, let's say I want to draw my wall here, and this is my actual reference. There you go. This is my building. I can build a wall around this. Um, I can use it. This is going to be the boundaries of my project and I'm going to go from there. Uh, or what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to just put the wall. Let's say I have a specific distance from all of this. So I'm going to just draw a wall real quick. right? And let's say uh, you have let's say one meter or whatever from each side you can see uh, it says well like six feet let's just make it five feet on this side make this five feet I just want to change this one to five on both sides so you guys you know what I'm talking about and then next one let me just five so right now I draw this I adjusted my roof so what I'm want to draw right now basically I'm drawing and saying okay uh, my roof has to go five feet outside of the wall all around these building that I have um, so what I can do is I can go just to the roof um, let's just you know I don't want to go through like the how we can create all of this and then say would you like to move it to say now just stay with the like level one so I want to right now real quick I know my roofing right now is always gonna be outside of this building right um, so I'm done I'll just do it attach yes so my roof are done and basically my actual reference plane are the edge of my roof so you guys see how fast I created the wall I had five feet all around I put my roof around it so this is how it's going to help you to determine um, your design boundaries plus is going to help you control the geometry that you are drawing um, so let's go to an elevation see if we can see it in an elevation view okay let's go it doesn't matter any of this um, so you guys can see basically this is gonna be like the top of my wall because I put the roof on the you know kind of like a level one so and then also I just want to show you this so these are the boundaries of my actual uh, reference plane so it's basically telling me exactly where those locations are right so as you guys saw I, I put the basically uh, the roof under like level one this is level two is gonna be the top of it it's fine just we're not going through this I just want to make sure you guys can see this if I go to a different elevation view you guys can see reference plane reference plane edge of my roof so it's basically telling me exactly how all these kind of levels and everything that I have it's just basically within that boundary that I'm creating so if you want to let's say um, let me delete all of this right here real quick yes okay so right now if you want to go to reference plane and start building it you need to go to the architecture all the way down work plane and then reference plane um, so when I kind of click on this you can kind of draw you know it's easy as soon as I click it it's gonna tell me you know just okay this is a subcategory for something if you want to name it or how you want to kind of address this so I just you know put this let's say one 
and then you can see it kind of shows up over here and it's going to tell me exactly what it is and then this this one right here you can click on it adjust the name and then also uh there you go i put it over there let's just do another one as i mentioned you i kind of do let's say 148 let's do another one here let's do and each of those when you place you can adjust the dimension you can basically put everything around it and the, uh, we have other options over here so this one is going to show the work plane that you're working on right so when i click it it basically highlight when i turn it on and tell me what is that area that i'm working on and the set work plane has two options so let's say if i have a wall if i have a location i can click on it or the bottom and you can see in the picture i pick that top like that and it plays a plane over there for me real quick and i can start from there if i add something and the set the work plane this is what i was talking about so you can kind of show you what level you are which one you want to select if you want to pick that work plane based on the name and say okay draw my roof all the way around let's say reference one and you draw it over there or if you want to pick a plane the main point is today's video was the introduction to the reference plane so first you guys know where to find it you guys know what are these for the viewers reference plane show and set and also how you want to use it and why you're using it so to control the geometry that you draw and also to um, help set out your design and then your project boundaries or more um hope that you guys enjoyed today's video if you like the content please make sure to subscribe and leave a like and i will see you guys in the next video thank you for watching mm -hmm.